power of a quotient. So essentially, what happens if I'm taking the power of some sort of fraction? Notice how a and b do not have to have the same bases here. If I'm taking the power of a fraction, I simply assign that power to both the numerator and the denominator. So this question becomes a to the power of m over b to the power of m. Let's go through an example of that. Two-fifths of the power of three. I'm going to take that exponent and apply it to the numerator. So I've got two cubed on top. Take that exponent, apply it to the denominator. So I've got five cubed on the bottom. Evaluate each piece separately. Two cubed is eight, and five cubed is 125. There's my answer. Let's briefly go through why this is what it is. When I'm cubing that fraction, essentially I'm taking two-fifths times two-fifths times two-fifths. Three of those all together. And if you remember your fraction rules, when you multiply them, top times top, bottom times bottom. 2 times 2 times 2 gives me 8. 5 times 5 times 5 gives me 125.